Well, firstly, I want to say hello and thank you to Dr. Diva Aman, who has taken the time to speak with us. How are you? I am great. And thank you so much for having me today. It is an absolute pleasure. For those who are unaware, uh, the doctor is a marine biologist. You have to call me doctor. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> you put so much time getting educated aside from your adventures that to not <laughs> would be disrespectful. <laughs> okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, she is also affiliated with National Geographic. And um, with that said, on December 8th, she will be a part of a series coming to Disney Plus from National Geographic uh, called Welcome to Earth. And she will be with Will Smith. I, I feel like people would know who that is. Maybe? Hopefully, I'll, I'll put a graphic <laughs> up or something. Maybe Flash's picture <laughs> up, you know, as a reminder. <laughs> yeah. And you all are just going to be exploring the ocean for your episode, correct? Yeah. So Will and I actually go down into the deep sea off the Bahamas in the Caribbean, all the way down to a kilometer deep. And on that journey, we really explore the concept of color together. I think that's very interesting. What episode uh, would we be looking for you in? So I'm actually, my main episode is called Descent into Darkness, but I'm actually in four of the six episodes, though the other bits are much oh. shorter. Yeah. I apologize. For some reason, <laughs> I thought you got one, everybody gets one. Okay, so she's recurring and that's good to know. Um, I'm curious, did you choose something off of the Caribbean because of the fact that that's an area that you're very familiar with? I'm aware that you are Trinidadian, correct? Exactly. Um, I think it was a, like a lot of things coalesced. You know, the ship we wanted to use was there. Um, the fact that I was from the Caribbean meant that it almost was like my backyard, which was wonderful. Um, and yeah, it just ended up being this wild ride that Will and I took together and uh, you know, a couple of months before, if you'd told me that's what I would be doing, I would have probably laughed in your face. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I was curious uh, and we'll we'll go back and then come to the present. So how did you begin um, working with National Geographic? Um, yeah, so actually, uh, gosh, how did I? So in 2018, I went to a, um, a workshop in Boston uh, and in that workshop, we were meant to be sort of thinking about how to overcome some of the biggest ocean challenges. And the challenge that I felt particularly that I, you know, raised was really one which I'd obviously faced in my own career. You know, I'm from the Caribbean, from a developing country, Trinidad and Tobago. And even though I'm a deep sea expert, we don't have any capacity to be able to explore our deep sea, despite the fact that the deep sea is the largest ecosystem in Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. And so I really wanted to, you know, explore that. And National Geographic, of course, was there and they were able to help fund and help support um, a project to really be able to, to help, you know, push that, push that challenge aside, really overcome that challenge. And it's a project we worked on for a couple of years together. And then from that, you know, Welcome to Earth happened. Um, I'm not sure whether the two were linked, but I got an email one day that was like, hey, do you want to do this series with Will Smith? And I was like, this is definitely spam, delete. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't until they, they had to send a follow-up email. Um, and that was when I was like, oh no, okay, this is real. Um, and yeah, it was just a, a real sort of sense of disbelief until I met Will in the Bahamas to actually begin shooting. And then a couple of months after that, um, National Geographic named me one of their 2020 Emerging Explorers, which was obviously a wonderful honor. So it's an evolving relationship, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and speaking of meeting Will Smith, so since so few people that I've met have uh, had your opportunity, um, what would you describe it like? Was he normal or was it a story? <laughs> I mean, it's obviously a story, right? I mean, yeah, even if it wasn't a story, I'd be, I would make it a story. Um, so no, he, oh, we met the day before the dive um, and he was exactly as you see on screen, a like charming, witty, funny, like that, that Hollywood persona you see, that guy you see on your screens. And, um, and so I was like, oh, this is gonna be a breeze tomorrow, right? 
<laughs> and um, little did I know, you know, when he got on the ship the next day, it was like a light switch had been flipped. It was a totally different person that I got in that sub with. You and you can see it on the episode. He's he's very fearful. He's very honest about his fear of the ocean. And of course, you know, it's not just the ocean, right? We're not just going for a little scuba dive or whatever. We are going in a submersible down to a kilometer depth to a part of the planet that no one has been to before, and to a part of the planet that if something goes wrong, no one is coming to help. So his fear is totally understandable. And I think probably one of the best parts of the day was really getting to, um, you know, see him overcome that fear and really see that fear turn into to awe, turn into amazement and just turn into pure inspiration. And I know that our time is short. So for my last little two-part question, you brought up his fear of... Uh the ocean or the very deep ocean. What would you say was the scariest thing that you encountered down there? And was there something of beauty that was not also the scariest thing? Ooh, okay, that's a great question. And so I think the scariest thing um, probably is the darkness, right? You're just, there is no sunlight, absolutely no sunlight down there. It is one of the darkest places on the planet. But actually, it's not one of the darkest places on the planet. And that's one of the things you'll see in the episode is that even, you know, on the other side of darkness, you find light and you find color and you just see the most incredible firework display made by deep sea animals all around you. And it is just a sight to behold. Absolutely incredible. I have to admit, I am very intrigued by the description that you just gave. I cannot wait the until episode? the 8th. Yeah, we're all going to have to watch on Disney Plus and find out exactly what she's talking about. But I can't wait. And I appreciate your time. And you've been very pleasant to speak with. So looking very forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. Have a great day. You too.